So, how do you keep clean when you're in the jungle? Well, every soldier carries, hopefully he hasn't lost his towel when he's playing through the jungle, you might just have one of these. Now this is an American K-ration bag. It's waterproof. And so the soldiers would try and get hold of those because it keeps what's inside pretty dry. This is a, what they used to call a hold all. And if you open it up, inside here it should be everything the soldier would require in the jungle. When a soldier is first issued his kit, he does carry a knife, fork and a spoon. But every scrap of weight is important when you're on such long trails into the jungle. So, goodbye Mr Fork. He's not an awful lot of good for drinking soup with. A knife? Well, you can replace a knife. You've got a pocket knife and you've also got a side of your spoon that you can sharpen and that becomes your cutting device, your ladle and your spoon. All in one. Spoon is the essential utensil in the jungle. What else do you have? So in your hold all, there's your safety razor. There is your shaving brush. And inside, special issue soap tin with your ooh, carbolic soap. My goodness, that's a strong smelling soap. Get a good lather up. Get it around your face and have a shave. On the first chin dip mission into the jungle, of course, they let their beards grow. And on second missions, when the 14th Army went into the jungle, they said, no, no, chaps, come along, stiff up a lip. Well, have shave. Try and keep yourself as presentable as you can. But such things are not always possible, depending on the conditions and the situations that you're in. Make sure you keep your teeth nice and clean. It's important because the shakapura biscuits and the nuts that you'd be eating out there, sometimes it would break their teeth. And if you look on photographs of uh, Burma soldiers, you'll see they're quite gappy. Their teeth were not brilliant. So brush your teeth. What did you brush them with? There was toothpaste, there was tooth powder. But if you could get some soot from the fire, you could also use that as a kind of toothpaste to brush your teeth. In here you've also got a comb. That was seeing it's quite decadent. Want to look posh in the jungle? Oh yes, keep yourself all nice and smart. But there was another reason. They wanted to make sure you didn't get lice or nits as well, so make sure you keep them combed out of your hair. And a bit like monkeys search each other for bugs, your mates would be looking out for you to make sure that no bugs had latched onto you, no ticks or leeches. In here as well, you've got your spare pair of leather laces. This will be used in your black army boots. And there's a shaving mirror. And here, tucked away, it's a lovely piece of kit. They used to call this the housewife. Because back in those days, the man got married. The housewife would often be the one who would do everything around the home, including mending things and putting buttons on. They were very different times. And this is a military housewife, just look at that. And inside you've got darning walls. Now they would be used for darning your socks, or you put a tear in your shirt, or your jungle jumper. There's little bits of string and twine and parachute cord. There are spare buttons, there are needles. This has all got a little bit rusty, because it really did go through the jungle. And extra buttons for your underwear. It's quite a little treasure. As is this hold all. Quite an essential for anyone on campaign in the jungle in World News.